I think Robo Lawyer and his friends are actually uh, talking about exam preparation at the moment. And they've probably got some questions because they want to know about what, how to do the exam and what the, how they should prepare for it as well. So we'll go and uh, we'll go over and see what they've been asking about. Okay. Well, hello, Robo Lawyer. Hello, Pencil Dog. Hello, Angela Learning. Move there so we can all see. What's that? Uh, Angel of Learning. Oh, Robo Lawyer said he's not going to study all the sections, only certain parts, uh, because he's only got to do three questions out of five in part A, and gets a choice in part B. So he's going to pick. Uh, what's that, Robo? You're going to pick certain topics to do, and not do others. Well, I don't know whether that's all that smart because. What if there's part of the question on one topic and part of the question on another, a different area of the, the course altogether? You've got to do both those parts. Yes, yeah, so it, I wouldn't go around picking just certain topics. I'd be prepared to be across all topics so that you're able to have a bigger choice when you come into the examination. If you see a question you're not as con confident with, you can go and try some other questions, yes. so But if you don't prepare for things, and uh, what's that, uh, uh, Robo Lawyer? Yes, it is open book. You can take your materials in. No, yes, Robo Lawyer, you can copy stuff from the book. Stuff? Uh, content, those sorts of things. Now, one thing about copying or taking material directly from the book, let's say pencil dog, you reckon you've, you've got your pencil so sharp you're able to write so fast you're going to do so well. Well, I'm not sure because a lot of people take a lot of material from the book, a lot of people take material from the overheads and what they write is, it's all true, it's all correct, but it doesn't necessarily get them a lot of marks because you've got to actually answer the question. Now, I've seen exam papers where I've read two pages and I get flat out finding one point where the, that student gets credit. So the key thing is what Angel are learning, find the issues in the question. And sometimes it might be two or three different issues and sometimes... Look, sometimes, I'll tell you this, I even find that students see issues in a question which I didn't see when I set it. Laws like that. Yes, uh, yes, I can't see all the issues. Maybe I'm thinking on one thing and there's another issue. So there might be more issues. So, okay, first of all, we've got uh, a few things to do. It's an open book exam, so you can prepare your materials, you can underline, you can read it, you can put stickers in, you can take it in. That's very helpful, isn't it? Because when you're answering the question, if you want to refer to a section, the legislation, you just have to give the section number to back up what you're saying, usually. You only write relevant information. You don't give me extra pages to read or other people the markers extra pages to read you've got to be answering the question uh, what's that robo lawyer what about the homework questions I've suggested which are up in the communication section of the web page on the discussion board well probably not a bad idea to try them and that's right you've even got the solutions <coughs> what's that pencil dog at your solutions. Oh, Robo, that's, the, that's so sad. That's like the dog at my homework. Pencil dog at your solution. Well, never fear, because they, the solutions are also up on the course webpage, so you'll be able to go and check them. Okay. And yes, oh, what's the next question? Angel, Angel, Angel Learning thinks that what Robo and Pencil Dog think 
there is no, there's going to be nothing on director's duties because I didn't cover it in the last revision lecture. Well, there's two revision lectures, isn't there? And there are other ones to come. I can tell everybody. There will be something on director's duties and breaches of director's duties. It's a very important topic. I've left it to the second revision lecture. I've gone through a lot of the other uh, fairly basic material like partnerships, trusts, types of company finance, difference between equity finance and debt finance, company meetings, those sorts of things, uh, takeovers, insider trading, oh, yes, uh, all the uh, raising finance, yes. Yes, there's a whole lot of things, oppression, we've talked about all those things. But yes, we're going to be looking at the breach of director's duties. Remember, it's the statutory duties and the general law duties, and there are different remedies for both. That's very, very important. Uh, what's that? Uh, pencil dog, can you bring in the lecture overhead printouts? Of course you can, yes. Uh, of course you can, yeah. When you're not going to eat them before you get to the exam, are you, pencil dog? No. And you're not going to write to a lot of irrelevant material, are you? Okay. So are there, I wonder if there's any other points we need to know about what's on the exam. It probably doesn't make a lot of difference because it's some of the questions are fa uh, fairly straightforward. Others, I think, you can. Uh, be a bit more complicated and you can see a number of different things in them and if you can see a number of different things in the question that doesn't mean that you don't understand the course it means you actually know something about it because there may well be a, quite a few different points so you write about them all that's right you, yes it, it does help if you express yourselves well now I hope you all three of you have been helping with this course all term. Uh, I think we've got uh, covered a lot of the material. Yes, and well, I hope, uh, and you've all uh, you've done your assignments. Yes, so you add your assignment mark and your exam mark uh, together. No, you don't have to pass the exam necessarily to pass the course. So long as you get 50%, if you've got 30 out of 30 for your assignment and you get 20 for the exam, you've still passed. So it works like that. Okay, are we right now? We might. Say so, goodbye to everyone. You right there, Robert, are you? How many times have you done this course? Well, you're getting quite an expert on it all. It keeps changing, doesn't it? Okay. Goodbye, Angela Learning. There's Angela Learning. She can come forward. Uh, goodbye, Pencil Dog. Pencil Dog takes a bow. Takes his nose out. Uh, he wants to do it sideways. And goodbye, Robo Lawyer. Yeah, well, we'll, well, we'll see people again at some stage, I'm sure. Look, we're up on YouTube. What's that? So... If you're not if you're not doing a course, one of my courses, and you want to see Robo Lawyer, you can go to YouTube. What do you, what do they type in? They type in Robo Lawyer R O B O L A W Y E R, and yes, you'll see Robo Lawyer up on YouTube. Okay.